Well, hello everyone. And yes, it's still summer, so I've got a lot of different posts lately on editing summer because who doesn't want to shoot outside while you can? I'm stuck in studio all winter. What I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you how to make your own presets in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, this works just the same in Lightroom. So if you don't use Adobe Camera Raw, basically it's exactly the same thing. I don't use Lightroom except for culling, so I do everything in Adobe Camera Raw. But what we're gonna do, now what I like to do is create a preset for a specific set of portraits. So if I, for instance, am editing 10 or more images from this particular portrait session, then I will make a preset so that I can maintain consistency throughout editing all of them because who wants to edit 10 images at one time? And what I do is I come down to my HSL right away. So let's just reset this to the default. This is the default. This is straight out of the camera. And as always, I start with my highlights. So I just reduce the highlights. Now, I don't mind this. This was added flash because natural light to me is very much flat and boring. So I always like to add a kicker of light. And this was using the Stella Pro Lights Reflex S and it was on flash mode. So that's all I did for her, right? What I want to do next, I'm not going to affect the background because I'm going to use the masking feature for that because I want to maintain the difference, the separation between the two. I'm going to come down into my color mixer and I'm going to reduce the saturation of the greens. I'm also going to reduce the yellows a little bit right about there. Come into your hue and for the yellows, we're actually going to make them a little bit warmer. So we're pulling them into the oranges and the greens, you can make them a little more yellow, which usually will take away that really super bright green look, which I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of. And if we come back into our saturation, we're going to reduce the aquas because if you look up in these leaves here, you're going to see that those are actually very cyan-y, aqua-y, whatever you want to call them. Come into your hue and you're going to reduce that bluish tone in the aquas by pulling the slider to the left, which will turn them a little bit more on the green side and then everything is just a little bit more cohesive and additionally i know that her dress is blue so we're going to reduce the blues do you see the difference so see how blue the highlights are we're going to reduce that because i don't want that coolness in this image and that's a really good starting place and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come up into our masking feature and we're going to select down here where it says person, we're going to select our person. Now we have the opportunity, as you can see, to choose the skin, the body skin, the eyebrows, also the hair. So we're going to definitely create a mask for the hair and we're going to create one for the facial skin. And we're going to create two separate masks and click create. And just remember that the really nice thing about this is once you save this as a preset, you can then apply these exact adjustments to any other portraits in that series. So we're going to click on our person hair and we're going to reduce the highlights. See how we can really affect those highlights individually now, like with this slider and the whites a little bit too. And now we don't have quite that, you know, crazy look to it. I'm going to click on her face and I want to increase the highlights a little bit, but I also want to increase the contrast a little bit, something like that. Now I do want a little more natural skin tone. So I'm going to increase the yellows and I'm going to add some magenta as well, because as you know, when you shoot out doors in the summertime, especially in large open spaces with a lot of greenery, that green will reflect onto their skin. Yeah. And maybe a slight S curve, something like that. But I do want a little bit more of that magenta into her skin. Now, 
we can see that those are different colors so we're going to have to add another mask and it's going to have to be the same adjustment so just look at your color temperature plus 5 plus 14 so that you can apply those same adjustments to her body so we're going to go back to select people and this time we're going to choose body skin and create and once we're in the body screen we're going to go plus 5 and 14 and that should in turn create a little bit more of that same color and you can try adding contrast as well that might help right about there okay now we're going to create another mask and we're going to select the background with this background selected we're going to reduce the shadows see how if we reduce it like that but we're going to pull up the blacks and now we're getting a little bit more separation. You can add some contrast to it and you can pull those shadows back up if you don't like it quite so much. We want a little bit of definition and depth in the background. You can reduce the highlights a little bit or you can even bring them up. It's all just personal taste. That's all it ever is. But what I do like to do is come down here, reduce the texture reduce the clarity and that just kind of makes your existing bokeh a little bit more buttery I guess is the way you can say it and reduce the grain and for me now what I do is I click on these three little dots create preset and then you can save it the name of your session let's say love session green and now that's going to drastically affect every single image the exact same way. Make sure you turn on masking because you want that masking and just click OK. And now we have that exact preset saved with the AI, the masking features and everything in it. So now I'll show you how to use the preset that you just made. So I've opened up another image from this set. And now when you're in Adobe Camera Raw, I'm just going to reset this image because it already had tweaks that I made in Lightroom when I do my call. Um, so I'm just going to click on this little icon right here, which is your preset icon. And now if I come under my user presets, I just go to the love session and you can see that it has now applied this. Now it's going to apply all the masking and everything that we did in the previous one and it just makes your workflow so much better especially if you work on one image at a time as opposed to you know doing 10 at a time or what have you and then you just go ahead and open your object I'm gonna slowly show you what I did so the first one I just painted her hair and I used my hair painting brush and you can find that video right up here and then the next thing I did was I extended the dress on the canvas because a lot of times these long dresses end up looking short when you don't put them on a stool or something. From here I did my general retouching, changed colors, added some foliage for fullness and here I added a little bit of background mist and this one right here is just finals sharpening and then this is my color toning and finals. If you like this edit, if you would like to learn how I do it step by step, I have a ton of tutorials up in my new platform. And this is what my platform looks like. There's a whole community attached to it now, so you can join the platform for free. But if you want access to all of the behind the scene videos, lighting, posing, editing, compositing, mid journey, painting, all of those courses right now, I have almost 30 courses up, then you'll have to join my membership program and it's only $35 a month. 10% off if you purchase an annual pass. I'm going to have brand new tutorials up every single month. I'll be adding chapters. I will be adding lessons to specific courses and I would love to see you on the platform. Until then, I will see you all in the next video.